Welcome to Innovation Now TV. In this video, we are featuring how one of the world's largest and busiest airport is built. This airport is so huge, the construction of the airport will be taking place in a total of four phases until completion. Please stay tuned and enjoy the video. Due to a lack of space to construct an additional runway at Istanbul Atatürk Airport, airport growth is being restricted due to the growth of the city, the Turkish Airport Authority is not allowing additional cargo or charter flights to the airport, and with worsening air traffic congestion, it was decided to construct a new Istanbul airport to serve Istanbul, approximately 35 kilometers, about 22 miles away from Istanbul. The construction of the airport will be taking place in total of four phases, to be completed by 2027, with a total cost of about 12 billion euros about 14.25 billion dollars, and is planned to generate 225,000 jobs. New Istanbul Airport is the biggest infrastructure project in the history of Turkey. It started over an area of 76.5 million square meters, that's about 818 million square feet, 29.5 square miles or 18,880 acres on the Black Sea coast of Istanbul. Once completed in 2027, the 29.5 square mile airport will be larger than the Shanghai Pudong Airport, Chicago O'Hare Airport, London Heathrow Airport. Istanbul New Airport will be even larger than the island of Manhattan, which is about 22.8 square miles. The first phase of the world's largest airport in terms of annual passenger capacity commenced in June 2014 and completed in October 2018. It was completed in record time of just 42 months, whilst the project was initially anticipated by many to take 10 years under normal conditions when compared to other airport constructions worldwide placing emphasis on the fact that the design process alone may take up to four years in projects like this. Around 700,000 cubic meters of soil are drilled and transported every day, 1,453 trucks were conducting excavation work. During the construction of the first phase, 12,400 bores and test pits were drilled. 3,159 construction equipment operated non-stop. 750 million cubic meters of soil was excavated. 320 million cubic meters of filling works were carried out. 7 million cubic meters of concrete was poured.
The first phase of Istanbul Airport, which is the largest infrastructure project in the history of the Turkish Republic history was planned to be completed in record time of just 42 months which already makes it the world's largest airport terminal building under a single roof. The first stage consists of the main terminal, with an annual passenger capacity of 90 million, and an area of 1.4 million square meters, about 1.5 million square feet, making it the world's largest airport terminal building under a single roof, despite Dubai International Airport Terminal 3 having a larger floor area at 1.7 million square meters, about 1.8 million square feet, due to tunnels connecting its two concourses. Istanbul Airport serves with a parking area that has a total capacity of 40,000 vehicles, 18,000 indoor spaces and 22,000 outdoor spaces. The Istanbul Airport's landmark air traffic control tower has been designed by Pininfarina and AECOM. It blends influences from the aerospace and automotive sectors with elements evocative of Turkish culture. It is 90 meters, about 295 feet tall in an area of 6,085 square meters, about 65,500 square feet, which makes it the world's largest airport air traffic control tower. This 360 degrees tower's inspiration is drawn from the tulip flower, a symbol in Turkish history and Istanbul's rich cultural heritage, and with its aerodynamic shape, the tower will be visible to all passengers traveling between Europe and Asia. In the first phase of construction, there are five runways, ranging from 3,060 meters to 4,100 meters. That's about 10,000 feet to 13,450 feet. There will also be two pairs of parallel runways connected to eight parallel taxiways to the west of the main terminal, approximately 4 million square meters, about 4.3 million square feet of apron space. In addition, the airport will feature three technical blocks for repairs, maintenance, and fueling, as well as an air traffic control tower, eight ramp control towers, and hangars for cargo and general aviation aircraft.
They will build a fuel system with a 12 kilometers, about 7.5 mile underground pipeline, to transport fuel from seaport to the airport's 10 huge fuel tanks through an underground tunnel. It has a terminal that can be easily approached by super jumbo jets like the Airbus A380 and Boeing 747-8. The total length of the cables used for system will extend from Turkey to India, for 1,500 kilometers, about 2,800 miles of copper cables, and 2,500 kilometers, about 1,550 miles of fiber wiring. The Istanbul airport features a 42 km long baggage system with a capacity to handle nearly 30,000 bags per hour. It is also installed with early baggage storage system for baggage that arrives early. The second stage will add a third independent runway to the east of the main terminal, as well as a fourth remote runway with an east, west heading and additional taxiways and apron areas.
The third stage is planned to add a second passenger terminal with a capacity of 60 million annual passengers and an estimated area of around 960,000 square meters, about 10,300,000 square feet, as well as an additional runway and a new support facilities area. The final and fourth stage of expansion will, along with adding another runway, allow for the construction of satellite terminals with a combined capacity of 50 million passengers and area of up to 800,000 square meters, about 8.6 million square feet. The second air traffic control tower is 47 meters, about 154 feet high. It included the construction of 143 passenger boarding bridges, 500 check-in points, 143 gates and 228 passport control points at Istanbul Airport that has been completed and taken into service within a record time of 42 months. Within Istanbul Airport, it will be possible to make transactions through robots, artificial intelligence, facial recognition or other personal information, it is equipped with cutting-edge technology such as smart system, wireless internet, radio and LTE with new generation GSM infrastructure, sensors and speaking objects, for the comfort and ease of the passengers. Several other services are also to be in operation, including hospitals, frequent flyer and VIP lounges, prayer rooms, convention centers, and hotels, some of these are expected to form part of the Istanbul Airport City project.
Once fully completed by 2027, the airport will have six sets of runways, 16 taxiways, and a total annual passenger capacity of 200 million passengers, and the airport will host flights to more than 300 destinations. That will make it the world's biggest airport by passenger traffic. In comparison, Hartsfield-Jackson International Airport in Atlanta, currently the world's busiest airport, handles 107 million passengers a year. The airport will exhibit four terminal buildings with interconnecting rail access that combine for a total indoor area of 3.2 million square meters, about 34 million square feet. The airport will also have a 6.5 million square meters, about 70 million square feet apron with a parking capacity of 500 aircrafts, 55,000 square meters, about 592,000 square feet of duty-free shops, VIP lounges, cargo and general aviation facilities, a state palace, and indoor and outdoor parking that can accommodate up to 70,000 cars. A medical center, aircraft rescue and firefighting stations, hotels, convention centers, power plants, and wastewater treatment facilities will also be built. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.